Okay, for 6a, it's asking us to write the expression of terms in i and simplify. So for each of these, because we have negatives underneath the square root, each of these are going to turn into i. So one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to start by multiplying both those together and do negative 32 times negative 6. It's not what the question is asking you for. And if you did it that way, you would actually get the wrong answer. So each of these, we want to break down uh, and turn them into uh, with i's. So this is how we're going to work, uh, do that. 32, I want to think about what's the largest perfect square that divides evenly into 32. And the one I'm thinking of is going to be 16 times 2. So that's how I'm going to rewrite that on the inside. So I'm going to do uh, 16 and then times 2, but I'm also going to put negative 1 out there uh, as well. So I've got the negative there. I'm writing that separately because when I square root each of these individually, I'll get a square root of negative 1, which will turn into an i. For this one, the square root is 6. Uh, not much I can do with that except to write it as uh, 6 times negative 1. Uh, 6 is, can be broken down to 2 and 3. There's no perfect squares that divide into that, so that's as far as I can go. So now I'm going to take the square root of each of these separately, and I'm able to do that because this is all multiplication. So multiplication, you are allowed to individually take the square roots of each one. I'll also do the same thing over here, square root of 6 times square root of negative 1. Okay, so now we're going to start simplifying. Square root of 16 is 4. Now, the square root of negative 1, that we're going to turn into uh, i, because that's the definition. i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Next, I've got a square root of 6. And once again, I have another square root of negative 1, so we're going to turn that into an i. Now, multiplication, I can do that in any order. So I can switch these around, multiply in any order. I'm going to leave the 4 out front. Now, I have an i and an i, which even though they're separated by the square root, I can still move that over and multiply those together. Again, multiplication, you can do in any order. So I have i times i. That's going to give me i squared. And then I have root 2 and root 6. I'm going to multiply those together. Now, root 2 and root 6, that's the same thing as square root of 12. So these, again, you can move that together and multiply those individually. So root 6 and root uh, 2 give you root 12 when you multiply. This isn't simplified enough. Uh, two things that we can do here. We can put a negative 1 in for i squared because that's the definition for i squared. Also, the square root of 12, that's something that we can divide by um, I can split it up and do 4 times 3. You look for the highest perfect square that divides evenly into 12, and we have it. We have a 4. So now I have 4 times negative 1, and I'm going to split up the 12 into uh, 4 times 3. So what will happen is I get square root of 4, which is a 2, and the 2 is going to come outside and multiply by these numbers I already have here. So if I take a 2 out, I'll have 4 times negative 1 times 2, and that's going to be negative 8. So I'll get negative 8 times square root of 3, and this would be as far as you can go with your answer. So again, all they want you to do is uh, write the expression in terms of i we did. We had, we had i's here, and then we simplified it, and it came down to here, negative 8 square root of 3. So this right here would be your final answer.